The following presentation is brought to you by KMmedia.pro. Please visit KMmedia.pro for more information. Now stay right where you are as we present. Welcome to Positive Talk Radio, evolving ideas, one conversation at a time. Great guests, dynamic stories and interviews, plus new thoughts on a wide range of topics and concepts. I hope that you'll hang with me, Kevin McDonald, my friends, and of course, you, as together we work to understand why we are all here and what we can do to make our world a better place for all of us to be happy, be kind, and live in peace together. Yep, that's Positive Talk Radio. Out of Positive Talk Radio, I got to tell you, this is exciting. I've got a, we've got a house full of people, and we've got some really cool uh, singer songwriters and producers and 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 directors and actors and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to play why we're all here. And this is the reason why. This is Sisters J. Open when you need a new song. Open when you forget where you belong. Open when you want to feel closer to me. Make no mistake, we can't fool ourselves. Nothing we can do about the distance The miles between us A part of me is missing A road through a letter For every day we've been together Open each one when you think of me And the love between us And that is Sisters J. That is their song, Open When, which is climbing the charts all over the country and really all over the world. And we've got everybody that's in, involved with it. And you know, at, well, almost everybody. Lily is uh, in, in, in school, so she might be uh, joining us in a little bit. But we've got uh, Mary Elizabeth Jackson. We've got Elizabeth Jackson. We've got Theo Perlman, who is of a really talented producer and uh and greg wilson who wrote who directed the the video that we're going to play in a little bit and it was a really a really a cool experience for everybody and it's a great video and so uh let me start with the guy who directed it greg you are an actor of note you've been you're a uh, director you are a a teacher uh an acting teacher where did you run into this group of fine people well, we've been uh, with our, our uh, theater company, Actors Point Theater Company, here in the Nashville area. You know, I, I had it in my brain that uh, it, it, the best way to serve the community, certainly by bringing professional actors to our area, and uh, where we are in part of Nashville, we're at. We've got this beautiful lake that's available to us, and so on and so forth. So, hey, we can do some things near the lake. All the things, anyway, but in order to really serve the area, if you really know Hendersonville, Tennessee, you know this, it's it's a 38 year old with two kids in a van that go to church, okay? There's just a lot of people here with kids. And so I said, you know what? We gotta serve the community good. We're gonna offer programs for kids from elementary age all the way up through high school. And so we do that every summer. And uh, uh, paired with the fact that uh, the Jacksons and myself and my wife and so on, we were going to church together. Uh, they, they, that's kind of how we found each other really. And uh, so Elizabeth and Lily have been with me for how many years, you guys? 10, ten years. 10 years, yeah. Wow. So yeah. saw them from being little, little kids and develop into uh, uh, the amazement that they both are. 
and they really are. They're, they're wonderful singers, they're songwriters, they're actors, and they all get it from their mom, who is <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Jackson. <laughs> And she is an she's an author. She is a, also an actor, and she's also a songwriter, and she's also now a podcaster. So, you're the, what's the name of your podcast, by the way? No, it's called Cover to Cover. And what are you featuring in the podcast? Uh, authors from around the world and everything about the writing world. Oh, that's a, that's really cool. That's, yeah. that's really cool. And well, I wish you much much success. You've never you've done it before, and then you took a little break from it. Is that right? No, actually, I have had a live stream for over four years, and so that's called Writer's Corner Live Network, and that's uh, you can find that on Facebook, but I've decided to, um, I've connected with a, a music PR company, and so I'm there like, hey, we want you to do a, book, a podcast with us, and I was like, all right, hey, let's do it, and so that's how that has come about, so it's pretty exciting, and Greg is my intro and outro voice of the podcast sounds absolutely amazing and um you know it's it's exciting for us all to be able to work together on projects you guys are such a talented group that you you brought together a bunch of talented people it really is remarkable um and lily's going to be along in a little bit but but uh, elizabeth is sisters one of the sisters jay and uh how are you elizabeth I'm doing well. I'm trying to survive student teaching right now, but it's been a great experience. Are you are you student teaching? Well, obviously you are. What are you teaching? I'm teaching band at an intermediate school and a high school right now. Oh, good for you. You're far too young to be a teacher, young man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you should still be in school, like you in eighth grade or something. I don't know. Let's not go back to middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back there. And, and by the way, I just want to compliment you publicly that the, the uh, video that you were in, your acting was was just sensational. You did a great Thank job. Thank you. Yes. And, and yeah. Greg, Greg's responsible for that. And, and mm -hmm. Ted Theo Perlman is responsible for the song. You know, I can always tell when it's a great song when everybody even though you guys have heard it like you know like a lot uh you're still a bopping to it a little bit uh because it, it is a, it's a great song and uh um who'd like to tell me how the or tell our audience how the uh, song came to be mm. well i elizabeth and thornton and i last summer we wrote the song and um it's based on um actually a true life experience in elizabeth's life and um oh and yes his is that is there who is that your wife that's lily, that's lily. Oh, is that lily. lily oh you found lily's <laughs> there's lily okay yes yes <laughs> yes, lily, yes. yes. I, my life has changed and that's my wife now <laughs> she's here in spirit that's in spirit I I couldn't see who was this far away. There's our Lily. That's the second half of Sisters J. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but we, you know, I don't know. We, Elizabeth and Thornton is not here right now, but he is one of the co-writers on the song yeah. and the label the, the song is with. And um, we wrote, sat down and wrote this song last summer. We all kind of have these creative minds that just never, right, Greg? They just never, it never sleeps. It never turns off. It never goes to bed. It's constant three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. I don't care what it is. And when any of us are together, ideas come, hey, we should do this or hey, what about if we do that? And so Elizabeth can tell you what the song Open When means to her. Um, and, and it's really universal, isn't it, babe? Mm -hmm. It, it really doesn't necessarily have to be about a romantic partner. It can be about uh, a friend, a family member, uh, a loved one who lives far away. It's trying to uh, uh, bridge the gap of distance in whatever relationship you have, because distance can be difficult. And so it's about trying to make that easier. Yeah. Now, and so, you, all right. Go I was just going to ask, did you think this up? And did you actually do this for somebody? Mm -hmm. I did. How did you come up with the idea? It's brilliant. Oh, seriously. Uh, it wasn't necessarily an original idea. Some of them, parts of it was. Um, 
for my 16th birthday, one of my friends made me an open wind box. And then when I graduated high school, some of my friends made me an open wind box to um, take to college with me. So I had a part of home with me, like if I was having a bad day or if I needed a hug or if I was having guy trouble or just whatever, I could open these letters and my friends different, a bunch of my friends wrote them for me. And so I wanted to do that for somebody else. So it's a pretty big phenomenon, isn't it? In, in the, especially in your guys's age range and culture. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it happen in a while. Right. Not for a couple of years, but I think it would be a good thing to bring back. But we oh, thought it was good for right now because we need positivity in the world. And, you know, you know, Elizabeth actually, now the part that's true is that she did write how many letters? 502 notes. 502 notes. So she actually did do that. And they actually all do have titles. Weeks. Yeah, it took her two weeks. So that's the creative part of her that, um, you know, it kind of con contributed to the idea of this was actually doing that for someone. It, you know, what, what goes into that, what it means, and um, sending that part of you to somebody else until you are back together, no matter how far the distance is. Mm -hmm. I, sh and, I should have had my uh, son, I used to make him write 500 times, you know, I will do my homework. I should have told him those are open, those are open win letters, you know, just like keep writing, you know? Mm -hmm. And I chose 502 is not just a random number. I had been with that person for 502 days at the point when I was going to give those notes to the person because they were going off to college. And so that's kind of how it's incorporated in the video. Also is like, you can do this for, you know, someone who's going off to college, because that's what was done for me. And occasionally, if my mom sends me stuff in the mail, she'll send me a few open win letters. It's always a nice surprise. Wow. Well, you, you do know that, well, obviously, you're, you're of that age group. It's hard to keep somebody's attention long enough to write 500 letters, let, <laughs> let alone, you know, you, you might have somebody who wants to write 500 texts, maybe, but. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, true. I, yeah. I do tend to hyperfixate on things. <laughs> that does help. But, but I mean, that, that is just in to help somebody who is away from home and is probably homesick and, and you know, they're in finals week or life is tough and then they can open up the box and they can feel like a piece of home is with them. That, that is just brilliant. I'd never heard of that before. Uh, did you, you older guys, did you hear that? I never heard that when I was growing up at all. I, I, I had this. Who? who, who? What, what older oh, guy? The older guy. Who, the older guy. Oh, he he said about Greg, you know. I'm the one with the gray hair. So. Uh, I, ha I hadn't heard of it, but it just, it, it, made, it made sense. And, and kind of to really chime in on, uh, you were talking about the, the, the sincerity or the, the, it didn't feel like it was acting. It felt like there was some really good feeling going on. I mean, both Lily and um, Zach, literally right after we shot this thing within what, a month or so, went off Less. to school, to college mm -hmm. for the first time. So mm -hmm. it wasn't, it, it, they were in a headspace that we're going to, we're going to allow them to maybe feel some of these emotions anyway. Mm -hmm. So the timing was right. Perfect. That, you know, and so you can, you can get them in, in, into that thought life of, Yeah, you can get them into the thought life uh, pretty easily because, uh, and, and that thought life came across in, in, in their acting. So what was it that got you to write the song about that? Was it was it just something that uh, that you guys came up with that, um, or was there a longer period of time that you guys were working on it and that's really what you wanted to get out there? Because I think it's a beautiful concept, and I, I would not be a bit surprised if a lot of people look at that and go, "Hey, you know, that's a really good idea. Maybe I'll do that." Well, we hope so, actually. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think back, Elizabeth, to when we we sat down and started it. And I think we, we wanted to write something positive. We wanted to write something that would be a good message for people out there. We wanted to draw on from her life and Lily's life and something that would be realistic and universal. And I, I remember driving down the road in, in the van, as Craig talks about, I do have a van. And, <laughs> and um, I remember driving down the road. And as an author, I'm always thinking about titles of things. So um, 
open win came into my mind as the title because that's what we were writing about. And so that kind of helped us finish the song because we were writing about letters and we were writing about love and we were writing about something positive, but we hadn't really kind of brought it all together. And it took us several sessions together to come up with um, all the words. And then uh, the music came after that. You must be really proud of these two kids because they really have got hearts of gold and are really looking at uh, other people. And, and rather than, I don't know, in your when you're in your late teens, early 20s, it's all about yourself, <laughs> you know. And, and It's like this, this about this. Mm. You know, it's it's the selfie, it's the selfie generation. It, it is. And, 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 Liz is and, rolling her eyes at me. <laughs> you're not wrong, though. I know, I'm not wrong. But but for you guys to to have it in your heart to reach out to other people like that is is remarkable. And you're going to you realize how many people you're going to impact by doing this, by doing the song and and the video and and stuff like that. People are going to think that's a really really good idea. They're going to they're going to impact lots of young people just because of how they live their life. And you know it's beyond one song. It'll be two, three, four, five songs, years of their career. But they are just, uh, they really stand out among all the artists that are out there now because they're just such uh, good kids, you know, and that's really uh, rare. And so, they, you know, they, they just, none of those uh, scandals or messes or anything like that you're going to uh, find with them. And they're just really devout, good, decent uh, kids, which I attribute to mom and dad a lot. Um, but they, you know, I've worked with so many singers. These kids are just, these two girls are just a joy to work with. And they're just really nice people. Really, really nice people. They're a joy to be around. They're lots of fun. And so I think they'll influence uh, kids by just, just the way they carry themselves, the way they live their lives. Going forward, you know, it's just, it's not just one song. It's uh, just who they are. You know, mm. it'll, be a, it'll be a really good uh, example for people. And they are incredibly ta in talented and yes. with wonderful voices, great harmonies. Um, it's it's amazing. And you guys have been singing together like, well, forever. Um, and it's, it really shows. It really shows in your professionalism mm -hmm. and how and how the song comes across and what you do. And uh, congratulations. Are you proud of yourself? I, I, I guess. <laughs> we really are proud of ourselves. <laughs> my, my sister and I have been singing together for so many years now and we just really have a special bond and when we sing you can feel that bond I have to go now, I'll be back in a little while <laughs> that's the most I've heard Lily talk at any given time <laughs> so sorry they used to, I learned from Mr. Bill on Saturday Night Live so. <laughs> hey, now, could I ask a question? Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yep. Ted, when you heard these guys harmonize the first time, what were you thinking? Um, I was thinking, uh, well, to tell the truth, whenever I hear a, a voice that's beautiful, I say, uh, thank you, God. I mean, I just seriously have to get down on my knees and say, wow, I'm in the presence of uh, another example of how wonderful uh, God's gift of music is. And when you hear it right in front of you, that is just, you know, you have to say, Thank you. That's all. I mean, it's it's beyond just wow. They can sing. They can do this. You know, it, it's just such a. It's like seeing a sunrise, or you know, if you have children seeing your little uh, child when you first they're first born, or the sun going down, or you know, babies. Just all those little things that just um, say that uh, God loves us and the world is a beautiful place. And when I heard them sing, it was just you know, okay, I'm in the presence of something really special. So, yeah. hmm. that's thank that's, you. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you're also multi-dimensional musicians as well, which you you guys you have it all. And so now you're a student teacher. Yes, I played the harpsichord, the bagpipes, the flute, the cello, and I whistled on the record. If you listen, the whistling is me. I she did whistle. She whistled. And and by the way, if you if you missed the reference to uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Bill. Mr. Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, that was that was a uh, reference to uh, Saturday Night Live in the late seventies, early eighties. So you'll have to go in the archives to look that up if you're. <laughs> it was a claymation little character 
Uh -huh. Every week they did the most horrible stuff to Mr. Bill. They put him in the road, ran him over. They put him on the edge of the George Washington Bridge, threw him off. They put yeah. him in a microwave. I mean, it's just, I don't know if you could uh, get away with it now, but you know, and he talked like that voice, hi, Mr. Hand. And it would be like, hi, Mr. Bill. So happy to see you this week. Oh, it's a nice day. And Mr. Hand is like, yes. Time for you to go. No, time. Time for you to go in the dryer, Mr. Bill. No, I don't want to go to the dryer. Yes, Mr. Bill. And they put him in the dryer. Oh, and he, yeah. he melts or something. So it was <laughs> it was the beginning of when they had uh, John Belushi and Jane Curtin and Dan Aykroyd, uh, Bill mm -hmm. Murray, those early Saturday Night Live things. So it was just like a little third party uh, film that they used to play. It was a little yeah. short, but it really took off. And people were just doing Mr. Bill like everywhere, you know. <laughs> kind of like Don, it's like you remember um, Dondi, which was a Saturday morning a Christian show, and it yep. was like a little kind of claymation thing. It was kind of like that, but Dondi didn't get squashed by trucks. You know, <laughs> he, he was covered, like, by the, covered by the blood of Jesus. So Mr. Bill was. <laughs> yeah, it's a that's all pre YouTube. You know, now, now they roll yeah. over all kinds of things on YouTube and make twenty oh, million dollars in a year. Or so yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Bill would have a TikTok channel now. Yeah, he would. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will bring it back. Watch Somebody bring it now. Somebody's going to bring it back. You bet. <laughs> yeah, you can do it on, a, on, a, on our next video. <laughs> So I think for the girls, it's still really kind of surreal for both of them because, you know, they're they're doing everyday stuff. And so, like, I know Elizabeth said, you know, she said, I feel so out on the outside looking in because it just kind of seems like, you know, we have the tech speed going between all of us on the team and it gets a little carried away sometimes with giggles and um, um, and the kind of obnoxious things, <laughs> but it's good because we all need the chuckles. Um, but, you know, in there is the uh, talking about, hey, it's number one. Hey, it's number two. Hey, it's number five. Hey, it's whatever. Hey, now you're on this chart. Hey, you're, you know, there's that constant updating of everything. But I think for both of them, because they're still they're they're in school and they're living every day, um, just being normal people, you know, that it just seems kind of surreal still. I, I don't know. I'm talking for you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry, dear. No, that, I do feel that way, especially because, I mean, I am student teaching. I'm getting my licensure, which is really exciting. But I'm in an intermediate and um, wow, words, intermediate school and a high school every day. So I'm just around children. Yeah. All the time. Well, and, and Elizabeth, wouldn't you say that? I mean, the fact that you're, here you are in the studio with Ted Perlman. What? <laughs> working with Thornton Klein. What? Yeah. What? Greg Wilson. Greg Wilson. No, no, but I'm just saying. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I shake when I'm around these guys. Like, oh, <laughs> you guys know who you are. You know. Like so, my like, wildest oh. dreams that I think. I mean, I always dreamed it would happen but i didn't know that it would actually happen so it's just really yeah yeah, yeah. it's one thing and, that, and a lot of working with no, the people um, it's another thing to say look at their pedigree and yeah these guys have it i mean you know their mother's been involved in tv and so you know the, these girls are not starstruck by anything they're just you know there to do the work and it wouldn't matter if i was paul mccartney or anybody else they still would just you know treat it the same they come to do the work which is uh, wonderful. So, the, you know, there's not, none of that um, oh, kind of thing that, you know. Well, the, there the, is that. We just don't necessarily show it all the time. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but, but they are moldable, moldable and, and take suggestion well, wouldn't you say, Ted? Yeah. And I would also say that they were really good. I really enjoyed writing the song for them. And, um, like him. and working working with them, you know, and Ted and the studio, it was really, really great. I was so happy to hear my song come to life. I got to go now. Bye. <laughs> you know what? I think Ted deserves an Academy Award for his acting. He deserves an Emmy. Yeah, I mean, his impression work is amazing. We can bring anybody. Um, so, but I said, um, I said, they just they just really were open and trusting and it was really easy for me i'm sure greg had the same thing when he did the uh, video they just um are very trusting that okay we're all um going for the same goal and so it's just we want to make this great so there was there was like no they say always say check your egos at the door and they really uh follow that but i re i mean i have to give more credit to their mother mother mary 
because um, she just, you know, having been in the business, it's kind of like Steph Curry in basketball was really prepared for it because his father was an NBA player. Same thing with Kobe. His father was an NBA player. And people come up, whether it's Natalie Cole or anybody whose parents have been in, you know, with the, uh, been in the business, it just Whitney Houston, anybody that it makes it easier for them to come in because they're just, um, they've been uh, trained, you could say like that. And so they just really, they just do the work and there's no, uh, it's fun and they're relaxed and you can laugh while you're working because they're really uh, professional, even at this young age. Mm -hmm. So it's, it just makes, it makes the, uh, the work process really enjoyable yeah. and, you know, that's the reason why I want to do music is because I love music. So, you know, they're just, um, and then it comes out and it's like, wow, that's like really, really good. So it just makes you feel good and just uh, loving your job, you know. And by the way, if you want to uh, have some fun, go Google, uh, and it won't hurt, Ted, but go Google Mr. Perlman and you'll hear, uh, you'll see that he's worked with some of the greats of all time. Well, the, I, I add, I've been updating my resume and I, I added these girls in because I'm so proud of working with them. So uh, I don't care about, you know, all these other names, but they're really, really important to me. They're um, just as good as anybody I've worked with. And all those other names on my Wikipedia page, um, they are, you know, I'm just as excited about them, even more that's so big. because that's, that you know. That means a lot, Ted. Yeah, I mean, I, I came to Nashville to do this kind of music, what I'm doing with them. So I'm really uh, happy about this. And and um, Elizabeth, I know that uh, you have a commitment and you're going to have to leave here in a second. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, for you to have the opportunity to, uh, first of all, I'd like you to have the opportunity to welcome Thornton to the program. Hey, Thornton, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, Wait. My, my, my double is over there. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! They sound exactly the same. I know. I do look. Well, I was getting. I was stuck in traffic. My dog ate the directions. I couldn't make it here. I couldn't get the keys to my car. Um, the light didn't change. The light was broken. There was an accident on the freeway. And anyway, I'm here now. I've been filling in for you. Couldn't couldn't move couldn't move my schedule around. So sorry. <laughs> I know. Listen, text your sister. Your brother has my phone, so I don't know where she is. She should be on here. So, um, hi, Thornton. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. How's everybody? Good. Yes. Thank we you. You're doing great. Thank you for inviting us on. All right, you you guys are a hoot. It, 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 it is so much fun to to have you guys here because number one, what I really like about it is all you guys have gotten together and you are supporting these two young. Um, budding superstars with and really are working to help them uh, do what they do best. And that's, and you're going to, you're all are going to have a real big impact in the world. Thornton with your writing and Elizabeth with your singing and writing and Mary and, and you guys are all very, very talented human beings. And I'd love to I thank you for, for coming on. And I wanted to give um, Elizabeth the moment to tell our audience anything that she would like them to know about anything at all, because uh, I know that you have to go here in a minute. I hate to put you oh, on the spot, but there you go. No That's pressure right. there. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I just really want to say thank you to uh, my family. And when I say family, I'm talking about all of y'all, because I wouldn't be here today without you guys. I mean, I wouldn't be here completing my degree. I wouldn't be, you know... I really, really, really grateful beyond words. Well, we're well, all very proud of you. Yeah, we, we're all proud of you. That's true. It shows. It it, yeah. it shows to a great degree that that uh, and and really, I you know, I think you should be honored that that you are of such high caliber that you mm -hmm. draw great because great people draw great people to them, mm -hmm. and because of your. Great your high caliber and how you are you're bringing all these people together and it's it's going to be really something special like like your your the song that we're going to play here in a little bit open win has been uh it's it's like in the top 10 it's rising all over the place and all over the world 
Um, in my little show, it's been downloaded 3,000 times wow. um, on just on one platform, not, not all of them. And so, you know, you're, you're going to be you're going to be good. You're going to be big. And, I, and you are going to be able to keep, because of the team you have around you, unlike some people like the, Mr. Perlman knows from the past, you're going to keep your head on your shoulders and you're going to keep your feet on the ground and you're going to do really, really well and not get in, involved with some of those things that, that can happen when stardom happens. Do you agree with that, Ted? Yes, definitely. You know, they're, um, it's just, they're just, they're just a, 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 a bright light. They have a light around them. And um, their purpose is not just to uh, fame and glory. Their purpose is just to do great music and to, you know, to be a, um, a an example for others coming up. You know, there's some little six-year-old girl somewhere that's going to see them and it's just going to say, oh, I, I want to do that and I want to be like that. Yeah. And, so that well, and let's, let's, let's face it, the fact that Elizabeth has to leave isn't for something frivolous. She wants to go to church. Mm -hmm. right now it's the same for god that's a big deal that's mm -hmm. a big deal absolutely absolutely and and i also want you to know that because of the song that you've written and what you've done in the past there's going to be someone who is going to do exactly what you did and it's going to positively affect other people's lives mm -hmm. and i can't sure. think of anything that's more important to do than that right right so congratulations um, youngster yeah so there you're a shero of mine Shiro, yes. <laughs> absolutely. So, so Elizabeth, we'll let you go to church and uh, and thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Love you, baby. Bye -bye. And my sister and I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye -bye. Thank you, kiddo. Bye. Oh, oh, I hope Alyssa can come back. So, you know, I want to speak to what. Greg has poured into my girls for 10 years. It's been very important and very much uh, helped them find their voice. Um, they've had incredible training. Um, Lily started with Greg when she was nine in Annie Warbucks. Wow. And she played one of the little orphan children. So, <laughs> but, but for her coming from a, a great tragedy that happened in her young life, to be brave enough to get on stage and to continue that journey and to stick with Actors Point all these years. I mean, we're talking, we're, we're 10 years now. And in the last three summers, she's had a lead role. Um, well, yes. And um, that's really allowed her to come outside of herself and do something that she really wants to do professionally as along with, you know, singing and then her, her artwork and her animation stuff. But, you know, Greg's been pretty significant in my kid's life. So he's really like, I guess, uncle Greg, well, we call him Lord High Master. That's what he makes the kids call him. Just so you know, Kevin, the, my, my nine year old those calls are my pronouns. Him, those are my pronouns. Those are <laughs> Lord High Master. Or if you curtsy, my lord is okay. Oh, my lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, you're in the south, so we say my lord. Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> I'll have to explain it to you sometime, Ted. Anyway, <laughs> it's pretty funny though. But I mean, even Carson corrects me. You mean Lord High Master? Yes, I'm talking about Mr. Greg. So you know, <laughs> but <laughs> but you know, I, I know that the girls found their voice in your theater. And they're in the training. That's where they found their voice. Because before then, it was like, I don't know if y'all should sing. Because you, know, <laughs> you know how kids are trying to find their voice. And they want to sound like, you know, back then it was Hannah Montana. And it was Selena Gomez. That's who was really big back then. And it was like, no, no, you don't sound. No, we need to help you find your voice. And so, you know, that it happened in your theater. Well, thank and you. so, well, you great. know, and, and then all the other training they've had over the years. But, you know, and Greg and I go way back before I even had my, my little guy. So we, we, we go back before even church actually. Right. So right. there's Thornton. Hi Thornton. There he is. He's Welcome back. back. Welcome back. Well, and, and to, to the point where, you know, there's certain kids that you go, they, they, uh, you know, because uh, Elizabeth graduated from high school. Four years ago. She just graduated from college. Right. So it's yep. like four years ago, she graduated from high school. And there are some kids say, hey, I want to come back and help with camp. And there's very few of them. I'll, I'll say, yes, you can. 
but now I beg her to come back and help with camp. In fact, you know, for my, what I call my little kid camp, pretty much her and another person run it. <laughs> yeah. I just stand back and watch. It's, yeah. It's she's great. done the music producing for you. Yeah. For like, so it's been great training for her, for her ear, for the understanding of music and, you know, timing. And, and so like you take all that and then they get to work with Fet, with Ted you know, it makes it easier. It makes what he does yeah. easier because they understand yeah. your your terminology and everything, you know? Elizabeth, uh, we did a song for Thornton. It was for the Chengdu Music Festival. So we had kids and we had a whole bunch of kids. We were over at uh, Thornton's house and uh, Elizabeth just like stood up and took charge of just the kids. And I said, eat somebody, you know, conduct the kids because I, got to do, I was doing the engineering and everything. She was just like... She just nailed it. She stood up and said, okay, everybody come around. And she was just so together and she just was so sure of herself. I was like, whoa. I mean, she just totally, and then Lily did the same thing. And they just really were, uh, they're so prepared and ready for this. And they're just, a gr they're great uh, followers. They're great leaders. They're great uh, team members. But um, when, when you need somebody to like, okay, with the kids, she just really has that natural gift of uh, teaching and she yeah. it's really it was like it, it threw and me then you with a with a wordsmith like thornton and yes. uh, oh wow <laughs> all the things happen yeah hey thornton welcome back how are you doing kenny can you hear thornton he hears us uh are you is he muted kevin uh no thor no Unless unless he doesn't have his ears in or something, I don't know. So we'll we'll work through that. Um, he, I, I guess he can't. He, he can see us, but he can't. I don't know if he can hear us or not. He's meditating. <clears throat> Thornton, give a thumbs up. Can you hear us? Uh -oh. oh, oh, okay. and I'm gonna text him. Wait. Yeah, yeah. And is ladies, Lily coming? Ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, I'd like to bring on the star of the show. Her name is Lily Jackson. <laughs> Hi. Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. How you doing? Well, I finally made it. I had to download Chrome and everything because I didn't know that my tablet would require it. But you've been here the whole time. You've been there, yeah. <laughs> sure. You you were actually saying some very intelligent things, by the way. I was. Yes, you were. You said a lot of things. Your your part of the interview was really, really special. And I'm glad you came. But uh I, your mini me has been handling it for you. So I hope you do. I'm I'm, I'm happy that I was there. <laughs> well, you do, do you, have you, you ever heard of something called uh, uh, Mr. Bill? I don't think so. You no. just did. You just did. All right. Look it, look it up. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Later. You'll have to find it. Saturday night. That. There goes Thornton. And Thornton's I, gone. I, I, told, I told Thornton. I sent him a text. I don't know if he has his phone. Uh, I said we can't hear you, so I haven't, okay. you know, responded. So I don't. Maybe the uh, Wi-Fi where he is or his phone. Yeah, like that. could be. Could be bad, right? Yes. Well, Lily, we're so glad you're here, baby. You know what? Carson has my phone, so that's why you were trying to get a hold of me. Like, mom, how do I get on? I'm yeah. so sorry. Babe. <laughs> I texted Elizabeth because she's like, "Where are you?" I'm like, "Where are you? You're not here." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Lily, I just wanted to tell you that, and we've got your uh, video uh, queued up, ready to play. I just want to tell you, you, you your acting and uh, and how you performed during that video was was awesome, just amazing. Well, um, yeah. Thank you. It, <laughs> I it try my best. Me, it's made all you, of us cry. We all admitted it here yeah. live that we've all cried <laughs> over the video. Well, that's all thanks to Mr. Greg because without his theater camp, I wouldn't be an actress. So there we go. Wow. But well, do you, do you find that just? Can you hear us now, Thornton? Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. It's just I'm hooking up to cellular instead of uh, there may be a 5G, there. which is great. But uh, yeah, there must be something. You know. Yeah. Did you get my text saying we can't hear you? Yeah, I was. Okay. Funny, okay, good. But I couldn't hear y'all either, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, we'll just we'll just, we'll carry on and we'll see what we can get done. But Greg, I wanted to ask you because you're the one who um, directed and put together the video, and uh, you really wanted to make it just right and just so. And so it it was a process, wasn't it? It was, and and a, a lot of times you're able to you know get these things done with storyboarding. Uh, you story brought out the uh, out the what you want to shoot and and kind of the order you want to shoot things in. And we had a what we thought was a solid story shot the first time, but just something just. And I, I know all of you have probably done this. Uh, uh, you know, you're working on something, and just just something that just bugs you. It sticks in your craw. You can't you can't sleep that night. Whatever. And I'm like, you know, we just got to We got to There's there's more to be told here. There's there's something that's kind of missing. And and, and I, honestly, the. Like that opening shot when Lily comes out the door and hands him the thing and she's standing on the street and watching the car go away. That came in that three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We're like, got to get Lily back. We got to get, we got to get Zach back in because there's, there's, <clears throat> there's some, something missing in, in really tying this story together. Okay. And, and, and part of it was, it, it at the very beginning, it looked like both girls were kind of writing letters to the same guy. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that would have been a problem. <laughs> we would have had another love intro, love, love triangle. Yeah, we had a whole other song. Yeah, all, we, all of a sudden, it's a whole other song. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, oh, we're like, geez. okay, it, 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 it's got to be between. It's got to be two. It's got to be, it's got to be older sister helping out younger sister. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be some mentorship, uh, which is where why we came up with the, the really the opening of the video is. Hey, here's your sis, you know, not, not just to tell you what to do, but she's going to live live and walk with you through this, because you know the, the the pain of having to leave all by yourself is one thing. The pain of letting someone go. <laughs> and and be gone from you is 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 another kind of pain, and so uh, it's it, 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 it so both both of the main characters had a support system in the story that we came up with. Well, the story is brilliant, and uh, the acting is terrific. And that young man, uh, by the way, since he's not here, Lily, could you just tell him that from me, uh, I have acting in my background and stuff. His portrayal was believable it was real and uh i thought you guys were engaged or something yeah, it's funny he actually has a girlfriend and i was like i kind of hope she doesn't see this video <laughs> oh, too late yeah <laughs> um but yeah I, i'll tell him <laughs> but that it was, was just it was just so genuine and really heartfelt that's why I, said I was I was crying. I mean, I'm sure her, her mother was crying because it's like, oh, there's my babies and stuff. But yeah, um, you know, I'm. I'm but it's believable. Like, yeah, it was but very I can, believable. I can feel them in the video, and so yeah. Greg did a great job directing. And even though I was there, I didn't see everything he was doing until the finish, you know. And so I didn't know some of this that was going on. And then it was like, oh. You know, and every time I watch it, I do that. And it's so funny. One of my very favorite parts, Greg, in the movie is when they walk by the fence because it, it's so retro 70s. I don't know. And both the girls are like, oh, I don't like that part. Mom, I feel weird. And I'm like, you know, you don't get it. For our age or whatever, we're going to we're going to date ourselves. I love that's one of my very favorite parts in the video. Yeah. Jen, I was going to call you up because I was like, when did Lily get a boyfriend? You know, when I, when I saw it, I was like, um, I didn't know about this. I knew Connor, but it's like, who right. is this dude? You know, let me talk to Pops. You know, does Pops know about this? Yeah, that's right. And, 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 and I'll tell you, I'm really proud of him because we, we, we talked a little bit. And you know what? Get get a good thought life going. And then you don't have the hard work of trying to act. So it didn't look like acting. You know, no, it didn't. When, when we when we see bad acting is because we see the acting yeah <laughs> and in this case we didn't see the acting we saw we saw the feeling mm -hmm. which is the essence and, they and because these kids them. these kids know that once we get that in their head their body and their instrument will follow their feeling i didn't know she was acting 
I thought they stuck her boyfriend in the video. I thought that's cool. You know? <laughs> so yeah. did I. Yeah. So yeah, that's a win, right? I mean, that was Kevin great. Yeah. Hi, Thornton. Hey there. I may it may crash in just a few minutes. I was using my phone. There's no battery on this one either, so I've been using it all day. So sorry. <laughs> you're you're fully here now, Thornton. That's Ted, Ted no longer has to do your voice, so that's we're also thankful. <laughs> so it may crash any time. So this one's anyway. <laughs> Kevin, Thornton. you better Kevin, you better grab a hold of Thornton while he's here and get some questions answered. <laughs> well, he's a singer song or he's a songwriter and an author, and he helped write uh, um, the song "Open Win." And he's a good friend of the family, and you guys work together a lot. You there, you are part of uh, Sisters J Posse, as it were. It right, they, we're the whole family. Everybody, we're the whole the whole team. Everything. Yeah. yeah. All I got. All I got. You know, Lily. All I got to say is that, that the young man who enters your life had better be like spot on, or mm -hmm. he's going to have a lot, a lot of company. And, and it, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's got yeah. a lot of uncles too. Uh, he's got a lot of uncles here that they I guess to go through approval. Mm -hmm. Can oh, I ask God. some questions? <laughs> Oh, that's a reference to the Godfather. If you're not, you know, we're we're going back to the '70s again. So, uh, well, you know, we lost Thornton again. So maybe we'll get him back. But before we get too far, and we've been talking about the video, can we go ahead and play the video so that everybody can see it and grab a tissue? Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, with with that, uh, um, um, Lily, just would you like to give an intro to the uh, video? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. I got my new background. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah, nice. Awesome. Hey, they look, it. it's my art. <laughs> that, that's yeah. Lily's artwork. By the way, that's Lily's artwork, Kevin. Oh, she. It, it's not fair that you are so young and so talented, and you can do all this stuff. I know, right? Can we just turn the clock back? I know. <laughs> Boy, no kidding. No yeah. kidding. But you know, I and I, I told I told Elizabeth, and I'd like to just tell you that that you guys have got your head on straight you've got a great team around you you've got people that really care for you and you're going to do great things and you know the the open win i hope that becomes a big deal because you know we don't have the connection to each other that we used to have we're all stuck in our you know in in the phones and and in our in social media and all that stuff mm -hmm. we don't have that personal connection anymore handwritten and, letters i mean that's beautiful yeah so it's exactly. such an old school um you know when you get an actual letter, you know, it just has so much more meaning than something that was typed. Even, I mean, my handwriting has really gone uh, downhill. So when, when I send something out to somebody, I'll always try to put a little post-it note and write it. And it usually takes like 10, 12, 15 post-it notes. No, no good, no, like that, you know, but just the fact that I wrote it by hand or somebody does it to me and they write it by hand, it's really a special. Well, very I don't know about 502, but um, <laughs> that's a 502 lot. is a lot. That's a, that's a lot of, I know. But just, you know, the I knew songwriters, famous songwriters, and they always, even I went to this thing the other night with Sting and Shaggy and at the uh, Ocean Way in Nashville here. Mm -hmm. And so they were talking to them about their, how he writes, and Sting said he just started doing it in the computer, but up until all those hits they had were all done, you know, by hand. And uh, so many songwriters, they just like to feel the paper and the pen and writing it like that. So whether it's uh, an open wind box with handwritten notes or song lyrics and stuff like that, there's just something that really is personal about with the pen and the paper that just, you know, beyond just the text that you just quickly type out. And by the way, if you're listening to this and you go, wait, wait, what? Who did he just say? Yeah, he meant Sting, that Sting, the, the Sting. Um, I photoshopped my into the picture. I, I think you couldn't take pictures, so I did. You photoshop <laughs> yourself in the scene. I photoshop. Wait, you, take, you can't see it because of the background. Wait. Oh, background. you got your. Wait, yeah, but you I, got I, your... Photo, I wanted to make sure that I was in the picture there, so I here we go. I photoshopped myself in. I'm back there. There he is. Singing, <laughs> this thing shaggy and you <laughs> That's it. And I did because there was a bald guy in the back. I was like, great. I just stuck my head on there. I said, this thing is shaggy, but they, they, they went out afterwards. So, but I did get to talk to a Sting. I asked, you know, I was one of the three people who got to ask a question. 
and it was hosted by um, Metz. What's her name from This Is Us? The actress Chrissy mm-hmm. Metz. So she hosted it big like, like that. She was great. But um, my one question: after twenty years of wanting to ask, I never met Sting, and I wanted to talk to him for twenty years. Um, we're watching that no, uh, Murders in the Building, and Sting was on there. He was like one of the people in the building. So I was like, my one question I said is, I want to know who killed Bunny, which is one of the characters in the show. And he was like, I haven't seen the episode yet. It was funny. Then I asked my other question, which was serious. But it was uh, very, very cool. Just to, I was right in the front row, so just to get a uh, conversation with him. But I was, you know, like you say, who are you in awe of? So that's somebody that I'm in awe of because his music has just been so uh, influential on me. And just to be that close to him, I would... I, I will get to talk to him at one point, you know, but, you know, so I still have that uh, fan uh, thing about certain people. I'm like, you know, after somebody met, you know, Bob Dylan, it was like the first time I was like, oh, this is Bob Dylan or Ringo or something. People that were just such uh, idols when I was growing up, you know, so I'm still a fan at heart of all these people. And now I'm a fan of your kids, (laughs) which is cool. You know, I'm in awe of their talent. And so it's not just, you know, a guy Sting's age. It's like, you know, somebody their age, too. So, um, you know, I, I just I always want to keep that that kind of uh, fan to be not only a producer, musician, but to still be a fan of the music. I think that's really important. And you'd like when they were talking about who they look up to, you know, whether it's Greg or um, their mother or people that, you know, have influenced them as writers, artists, animators and different things so you're gonna you're gonna be an animator and a writer and a singer and a she is. And she's not good at artist and all those things. Yeah. actress yeah. yeah yeah that's what that's what greg's pulling for <laughs> don't worry i plan to do that it's I gonna got, be part of my life i got you <laughs> yeah well, there's I'm no probably... there's no limits on uh these right girls. yeah I'll she's a what. 18 go ahead why don't we play the uh, video so that uh, we can sample your acting talents and also the song, which is called Open Wind. This is Sisters J. You can pick up this song, go to iTunes and, and Spotify and all that stuff. Please buy the music. Don't just stream it. Please plop down the buck and buy it so that the artist can make some money. That's that's I think is really important. So mm-hmm. um, with that, this is Sisters J. Oh, you know, my my boyfriend's going off to college soon, and it's pretty far away. I'm just kind of worried for him. Hey, do you you remember that thing that I did last year for my boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's do that when I get home. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Open when you need a new song. Open when you forget where you belong. Open when you want to feel closer to me. mistake we can't fool ourselves nothing we can do about the distance the miles between us a part of me is missing a road through a lot of for every day we've been together open each one when you think of me
And that is open win with Sisters J. You know, right, my right. um my sister, sorry, my, my wife, when I go to uh, Los Angeles, if I'm gone seven days, she writes me seven notes and they have a thing. This is for Monday, this is for Tuesday, this is for Wednesday, this is for Thursday. And it's just it's just wonderful to wake up and read my Tuesday note like that. So it's just uh even, you know, even at this age, I'm still um just loving those kind of notes open window even though it's only a week and it's not months or anything like that you know i think at any age it's nice when when mm -hmm. you can feel appreciated and that somebody cares and somebody loves you mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. truly yeah. absolutely oh gosh that ending always gets me always the ending too mm -hmm. for some reason i don't know and maybe it's just because it's my girls but I don't know. I'm always like, oh, my babies. <laughs> Every time I watch it, I see something uh, new. And Greg, that's great directing. I mean, you know, and I love the little, like, one of my favorite Bob Dylan videos was the subterranean homesick blues where the signs were going. And then they did it again with Michael Hutchins from um, uh, in, in Excess, or whatever that Australian band is, right? And they did the same thing with the lyrics going by and the cards turning. And you did it with the uh, envelopes following the lyrics. Uh, that that's brilliant. This, this video should uh, receive an award. Well, thank you. It should, mm. it should get a, a award for, totally. Mm. Well, we hope so. And it's so funny watching it. You know, I remember things when you're involved in it. You remember things like I, I wrote those on the envelope. So it's like I remember writing those and Greg and I discussing what it should look like. You know, and how how wide the letter should be, and so you know there was a lot of writing and then throwing it away and writing and throwing away until we got it exactly like, you know, Greg wanted it, and um, it, it's it's just funny to watch the you know go back and see that and have those memories. It's it's really pretty special. I, I nominated the song for a, a Grammy. I submitted yeah. it uh, to the Grammy. Um, you know, uh, there's there's so many uh, songs that are in there. But uh, fingers crossed that it just works its way through and that they hear it and they just say, okay, because it doesn't have to be the song that was the biggest hit in the country. It just has to be the one that touches people. So yeah. um, I think this song will. So I, be I believe in it and I believe in them. So Thanks, Ted. I couldn't agree more. As a matter of fact, a good friend of mine uh, that I discovered from the show, his name is Tommy Tika. Um, and he just won the uh, uh, International uh, Singer-Songwriter Award for the Best Foreign Singer wow. this year. And he made a song just for me. Wow. wow. So we're going to, so it hasn't been published and it's not out there anywhere. So we're going to uh, use that for the opening and all that kind of stuff. Because I, That's cool. I, yeah, it, is, it really is. And I, I love what you guys do and, and, uh, and how you're so supportive of each other. It just, it makes it, you know, they're good people out there. And it's sometimes it seems like it's hard to find, but there are really good people out there. 
No. Well, we've got we've got an anchor between all of us. So we are wow, sorry about that. Um, that's the fur child that is a part of our family. Um, he's, he's the in charge. She yes, she's uh, yeah, I know, right? So that's the dog, that's doggy J. That's doggy J, yeah. <laughs> Oh my lord! We have Doctor Edge and Doggy J. That's going to be a great rap group. Oh, um, like they should get a bus. They should get a bus. Yeah, remember the dogs at, at Christmas time? Woof 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 woof. You know, <laughs> Doctor Edge is just J. banging yeah, away. But the girls, we have to get a song for you, Kevin. We don't want to be outdone by uh, Tiki Tok. What's his name? Uh, Tommy Tika. He's from Tommy Finland. Tika. Yeah, from so Finland. we. We have to make sure that we get you a song because we don't want to be like, you know, like well, we did, well, we didn't do something. So. But while, while you guys are here, so I get it on tape, will you come back? I love talking to you guys. It's just awesome. Thank you. Kevin, anytime, you know, we love being with you. I try to include you in everything that I put out there, you know, and everything you put out there, I try to share. So absolutely, bud. Yeah, we really appreciate your uh, support and belief and just for, for what you do, your ministry and for including us and for helping us. And that's, you know, all of us are, are greatly uh, appreciative of that. Thank you. You know, you're, you're more than welcome. And now we're doing, now we're doing video shorts on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. So we'll be doing that with, uh, with uh, this interview. We'll yeah, thank you. Yeah, in the old days, we would have had to send you 16 cases of caviar, um, <laughs> a truck full of cash and a trip to Hawaii. So we know that you're uh, do, you, you like really genuinely like this because you didn't get any of that stuff from us. So. <laughs> we haven't made enough money yet to send Kevin all those things. <laughs> That's all right, join the club. We're all we're all kind of in this together. Well, you're a, Mary, you're a podcaster. You know that it's it's difficult to to uh, actually make a living doing it, but that's that's that's, uh, yeah. that's not why I do this. I do this to get to talk to people like you, and to support people like Lily and Elizabeth, and uh, and you know Ted and and Greg and Mary. You guys are just it is so nice to to be around good people, and the the vibe that you put off is just genuine. It's real, and it's 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 honestly it's honestly great. And uh, Lily, I, I you know I do have to tell you, you're a lucky girl. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us too. Yes. It's it's amazing. Uh, you ain't you. done nothing for you yet. We we got a, we got a long way to go yet to to yeah. you know cuz uh, you guys I think you guys are going to be something special. Note to yourself, send Kevin caviar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat dead fish egg things. Note to yourself, put two tickets for Kevin to Hawaii. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin. 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 <laughs> You know, you know, Ted. When you did that in the first interview, that uh, people were like, "What is it? Oh, I know what that's for." That that was very funny. That, that was oh, very, very funny. It was fantastic. Yeah, we had so much fun on that first interview. But you know, we we're could so do spots. We could do spots. You know, with the two girls going. You know, just Jay alone. Ah! You know, I mean, we could take that and do something. Yeah, <laughs> like that. You know, just you know, for your opening and just keep throwing it in there. You know. Exactly. <laughs> You could bring this, you could bring Mr. Bill in for some harmonies on their next thing too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You should have every, you should have all the artists that come on your show do a little uh, meme like that. You know, come on and then just have a thought of everybody. <laughs> just makes ah. a compilation video of yeah. all the times people said Kevin, and she's like Kevin, Kevin, yeah. Kevin. Yeah, yeah, just everybody. <laughs> it would be really yeah. cool. That's a that's a really good idea. I'll have that's to a go. great idea. It will really yeah. fly on TikTok. I can promise. It will. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it would. And, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely would. And yeah, then, and, and then what happens from that is that that's going to be the thing going around TikTok, and then everyone's going to do it. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> going to audio. Viral. Yes. Yeah, they'll remix it and they'll all do their own. Send it in. You'll have Jimmy Fallon and somebody doing Kevin. You know, it'll just uh, take off. <laughs> You know, it'll oh, be really, it'll be really, really cool. Uh, I don't know. I uh, probably not. But yeah. and, but Lily, I did, and I told Elizabeth when the bears repeating. I just wanted you to know that that you, by you putting together the song, and with the help of everybody that you did it, um, it's going to impact a lot of people, and is and somebody's going to start. You're going to start a thing. It's going to be a whole new thing. People are going to start saying that is a, just a really dynamite idea, and people are going to start doing it, and uh, it's going to reestablish connection between people. I think. And so, congratulations. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I hope so. Yeah. And uh, we and we, I, I've kept you guys for far too long, and I, I want to honor your time because it's it's now uh, five. It's it's dinner time. It's it's time for you guys to go. Yeah. Have dinner. But, the cowbell is going to start ringing. You, exactly, mm -hmm. Lily. I want to start with you, and I did this. I did this to your sister, and I'll do it to you. But th by the way, in your acting class, did you take uh, improvisational drama? We did a little um, improv every once in a while. Yeah, and then I was forced to do it on stage, and now I know how to do it. So, <laughs> you know, improv is the most fun things that I've ever done on on stage, and I've, I've acted a little bit. Um, I was I was actually in in uh, Shakespeare. I uh, oh. gave me the shrew. I oh, was, that was Patricio. That's awesome. Do not Greg's a big Shakespeare fan. Yeah. Huh? Greg is a big Shakespeare fan, aren't you, Greg? Yep. Been in it, done it, all the things. The only thing I remember, you know, and you know, Patricio had a lot of lines. Yes, he did. I, I, the only thing I remember was from one of his speeches, and the, the only lines that I got kept from that is, um, and thus I've positively begun my reign to tis my hope to end successfully my falcon is now sharp and and that's it that's all i got i, I like the little rascals one better where it goes um hit i uh homeo homeo where art thou homeo and then up at the top it comes here i is and it's probably yeah, it you know it's buckwheat, here man. i is i mean you know little here rascals. Is. <laughs> that was my that was my introduction to shakespeare there you go so instead Billy, of he nay me, which means here I am from Samuel in the Bible, went from he nay me to here I is. There you go. So Lily, I'd like to take a moment for you to say to our audience anything, the ones that are listening now or the ones that will be listening in the future, anything that you would like them to know. Um, I'd like to say, like, if there's doors that open for you, you need to take them because you may not ever get a chance to do that again. And if right. doors do close for you, there's a good reason. And because God is leading you to where you are meant to be. Wow. Mary, how did she get so smart so early? That's not fair. <laughs> she has a wise old soul in her young body. Absolutely. And um, I don't know. I'm just really grateful for the grounding that she and Elizabeth have. And it takes having people like this in... I guess it takes um, it takes a village, like people say, to raise children. But you, we have to invest ourselves in our children, right? We have to really invest in them and pour into them what we hope comes out of them as well. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're pouring positivity into your children and you're pouring um, those ways to be um, resilient when they have a hard time or something goes wrong and you, you pour into them, no matter what happens in your life, you always remain humble and grateful for all that you have. And you're, you're saying these things, you're, you're going to hopefully come out with a Lily and Elizabeth and I don't know, or <laughs> Dr. Edge, we're not sure yet. We're still working on it. Uh, <laughs> He's There's a little bit of everything right now. He's an acting class for this. We'll see what happens. He's but, an acting class. But to your but to your point, also, and I, Lily has always been one that she's not the first one to talk, but she you can tell she's taking it all in. <laughs> not to be funny, but there's plenty of people that have been in act that in, in our camps that you could go, yeah, I'm never doing that. And I think Lily saw some of those people do some of those things and went, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's that's not a good choice. <laughs> but to your to your credit, to your credit, yes, to, to your credit, to go, yeah, no, not good, not a good choice. I think this is a better life choice for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, God, when, when's the next song coming out? Uh huh. That's, that's the really, million really dollar question. question. <laughs> Do know. Soon started working yeah. on it. It's really, really cool. Yeah, he's working on it. He's been working on it. And then I think we're recording the first week, weekend of October. Right. And um, it's a song that Elizabeth wrote when she was actually 16. Wow. That's really, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Very it's beautiful. Cool. And when we wrote a song for you, Kevin. And um, oh no, here it goes, Kevin. So it goes. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it's like, a, it's hold on to your pants. Like you know, and it's, uh, can you hear that? Can, can I hear that, what? Can you hear that? Is that, is no. that coming through? Or I'm going to have to pick no. up an acoustic. This is yeah, not, no. You don't hear that? No. Uh -uh. No. Oh, 
okay, well, it sounds really good. <laughs> well, and, uh, coming from you, we'll take, we'll take your, word. your word for it. Yeah. Right. And, and it's, it goes through the first verse. It's talking about how uh, wonderful you are. And then the pre-hook says how wonderful you are. And then the chorus talks about how wonderful you are. So it's just uh, <laughs> an ode to, we call it a, a pay on to Kevin mm -hmm. to uh, pull out Shakespeare words. And it's just, um, just, just how appreciative we are, like I said, of you having your show and all the people that you've helped out, not just uh, us. So, you know, all of us uh, would uh, contribute to that song. And just like you said, you know, thank you so much for all that you do, for being there. And I know what a struggle it is to keep a radio show on and just to, uh, you know, I just said, we're all appreciative that you're there and thanks for the help. Yep. It, it, Ted, that means a lot coming from a man like you because you've, you've been around the best and you've been around some really, really cool people and some some people that had a lot of talent but had some problems too yeah, yeah. Well, well you know that's just that's just people yeah and that, that's the cool thing is is that we all at the end of the day we're all just people mm -hmm. and uh, and we all got talent in one way or another but but your talent um is is so special and you can do so many things with it now i need to wrap this up but i wanted to give greg an opportunity to to, to uh say anything that at all you like and uh and marry the same thing and we'll wrap it up with that well just that uh i think lily is 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 dead on uh you know when doors open go in and look around <laughs> go look go in the room and look around see what see what's in there and uh, and God will be faithful to slam the door in your face if you're not supposed to go in there. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, it's really is it's really the truth. And then you know it is one it is one step at a time. You know, God, I always tell uh, people when I when I preach at them, you know that uh, that the word of God is supposed to be a lamp to our feet, not to our whole path. So we only get one step at a time. So if you just walk in faith, one step at a time. You'll get there. You don't need to see the end. You need to, you need to obey one step at a time. And that's what these girls are doing. And uh, boy, thank God, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. With everything out there in the world, I am so, so grateful. And, you know, we also, um, we just, it, we, if it's on your heart and it, and it, feed your spirit and makes it sing, then you need to, you need to follow that. You need to do that. You need to nurture that because you have one life to live. And, and I mean, why do you want to waste it sitting around doing all the things you don't want to do or not doing the things that you want to do? Mm -hmm. So I have learned, which Greg has learned and Ted has learned too. And Kevin has learned, we are never too old to do what we want, mm -hmm. right. Or to start it. We're never mm -hmm. too old. I mean, right. it may look, may look a little different, but we're not too old to do it. And so we just need to go for it and have faith. Yeah, I always like to say there's two things, one from uh, Matthew, one from Ecclesiastes, and it's uh, the race is not given to the swiftest nor to the strongest, but to they that endureth to the end. And uh, that's the truth. So, you know, never give up on your dreams. Um, like Cheryl Lee Ralph said at the, I know Cheryl from back in the, uh, New York, but like she said in her acceptance speech at the Emmys, uh, two nights ago, she just said she's been doing it so long. I mean, she was the original cast of Dream Girls back in 1977 or eight or something yeah. like that. Yeah. She's been at it for years and years, and she finally got an Emmy, which, you know, after all these years. So it's just keep at your dreams, believe in it, and, you know, trust in God that God's timing is perfect. And, you know, you can have what you dream. If you can see it, you can be it. That's a great way to end it. I can't think of anything better to than to end it with that. So, Sisters J and Entourage has been our guest, and I want to thank everybody for for being here. This has been a, a, a really special episode, and I want to thank all of you for doing it. And when the new song is ready for publication, you have to come back so we can play it. Absolutely. And I thank all of you for doing this, and and uh, um, I appreciate it again. And and we got to have you on KKNW again with so, but this will be this is fun. So I thank you so much for doing this. So if you, wait right, if you wait right there, I'll be right the bank. Hey, thanks for enjoying this episode all the way to the end. Please give us a like and subscribe to this channel. This has been a production of PositiveTalkRadio.net. Please visit our website, oddly named PositiveTalkRadio.net, for more details about us and our mission, which is to provide great positive programming designed to inspire us all. 
I'm Kevin McDonald, and I'm proud of these shows, and I truly hope that you'll like them and share them with friends and family. So on behalf of our entire team, remember, be kind to one another because each other's all we got. <laughs>